Whenever we have a fever, we reach for a fever reducing medication. And I don't know why, because the evidence usually points against it. In order to get hot, first of all, you have to have chills. That's why you get chills, to create the heat in order to raise your core body temperature. The infection you're trying to fight off is less likely to replicate at higher body temperatures. In fact, back in the day, they would try and get patients to increase their body temperature by provoking a fever in order to fight off some infections, prior to antibiotics, of course. But now, with the invention of antibiotics, with the invention of other life-saving interventions, for most cases, the average healthy person can withstand having a 100 degree fever and do just fine. There are times where we do lower fever. If I have a very frail patient, outstanding medical conditions, if the fever starts climbing very high where it can cause some damage, but the typical 100.5, 101 fever, it might make you uncomfortable, but if you can stand it, you might get better sooner.